<laughs> We've been here for a total of, I don't even know if it's been five minutes. Hi guys, it's Friday. Um, I should become the Friday vlogger. Yeah. So Friday, I was working from home today, finish off and edit. Very good, made lots of progress, and now I'm um, now I see another movie with the boys. It's um, two in two weeks, so I want to see Zoolander 2 this week um, for my friend Kwa's birthday. He's going to see a movie, probably eat, go back to his place, have a few drinks, and just celebrate. Um, so yeah, so first we're going to go to, I think it's called Roxy's Kebabs. They've been talking about this the whole time. They've been um, saying it's so good and everything. I've had it once, but it was like... Um, Takeaway just before we went away for the weekend, so it was like all cold and soggy and stuff. So let's see how it tastes fresh, because um, these guys swear by it's the best kebabs ever. So let's go, and I'll have a look. Hi guys, just arrived. Man, was driving for the last hour. The traffic was horrible. There was an accident on the freeway, I think. So um, yes, I'm here. The guy said that um, there was lots of people there, so they've ordered for me already. So hopefully the kebab is still fresh. And I can tell you how it is, but um, let's go. Maxi kebab. Wow, it's pretty packed though. Food star. When was the last time I came food star? Like, what, 20 years ago? It's still open. People are still eating. Hey, give me your money. <laughs> You're wearing sunshine, by the way. Right, we're gonna have a free movie drink here before we go moving. Got a bit of a, about an hour. Right, this is our gang watching a movie. How many of us are there? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16. Zoolander! Yeah, look at him, look at the whole gang. <laughs> I'm vlogging. I did this year. <laughs> I feel like we're 15 again, like going to watch movies all together as a big group. <laughs> Saturday and last night I asked Phil to vlog so you guys already saw what he did but I went to my friend's house and we made fish congee because all of a sudden I've been craving congee. Well you guys will know from the last vlog that I thought we were going to eat congee but in particular I've been craving my mum's fish congee that she used to make and um, it happened to be that my friend was also planning to make fish congee so we just decided to um, make it together and there was leftovers so it's breakfast today. So for those of you who don't know congee is um, basically a rice porridge. You just make it from cooking rice for a really really long time and it turns to this. This is a particularly thick congee. Didn't mean to make it that thick but it does taste good and the fish is awesome. Usually, congee the next day is even better, so let's see. I need to eat less if I want to stay in my size 34 jeans. Now, Phil hasn't tried it before. Hi. He hasn't tried it yet, I mean. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, I should have added more water this morning, but oh well. Very good. Just filming a haul video and I'm now trying on all the stuff. So I've got all the clothes on the bed and the camera set up. So trying to be productive today. So we're going to have lunch now. It's one, almost 1.30, so it's going to be a late lunch, but I'm looking forward to some good old junk food. <laughs> some fries, some fried chicken, some mac and cheese. Here we are. Cookie Lala. Ready for some food? Yeah. Ready? Ready for some food? Instagramming. 
Instagramming. And then we don't have the, the camera. Except the camera was a prop. And <laughs> He's trying to get his jeans in it too. Oh, are you still trying to do that? Yeah. <laughs> you have done? Yeah. Come back away. Lunch has arrived. Our food yeah. does this look. What is a southern style fried chicken burger? Wow, that looks really awesome. I haven't had this before. And we got the mac and cheese. <laughs> and we got the sloppy joe, which is awesome. Really greasy. And chips and fries. Very good. to my auntie's birthday dinner now and we have the cake except I accidentally just tipped the box a little mm. bit so I hope it's okay it's gonna taste the same either way good morning we are um, about to go to church and we're gonna have a day out because beautiful it's day. a beautiful day but first let's do an outfit of the day always have to start church with a coffee so we always leave about five ten minutes earlier probably five minutes earlier to grab a coffee first we've got our coffee strong and we're now officially ready you strong we're here at Docklands and we found free parking scored score Winning. The feeling yeah. of finding free parking is amazing. Yeah. So, we're going to check out the um, Sunday market here. I actually, Definitely. neither of us knew there was a Sunday, well did you know there was a Sunday market here? No, oh, no um, I knew there was a Chinese New Year market. Yeah, but um, but um, what did I say? Yeah, so I, want, I wanted to do something outdoors today because it's such a nice day and I just looked up what? What's on What's Melbourne? On? And so yeah, hopefully it's good, but it's a beautiful day, so if anything at least we're outside enjoying the sun. That makes me a moon. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a banana. <laughs> I was like, why is it banana? <laughs> no, it's not banana. <laughs> To me. Okay. I was like, literally, what's bananas got to do with Chinese New Year? Oh, it's a moon. Like you were to stay, Jason, you're pretty. Okay, we're done. <laughs> We've been here for a total of, I don't even know if it's been five minutes. Ten. I'll, I'll give it ten. It's been nice. <laughs> and we're finished. Yeah, that's it. That's we up. thought it was going to be like a whole strip of market stalls, and there's like. We, uh, we didn't even stop at one seven? store. Yeah, it's like seven. <laughs> Wait, and we're done. One's a juice bar. And there's no food. One's a phone case bar um, stall. And that's it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, not coming here again. So where are we going now? We need to, we need to Google what else is on. If we pay $10 for the parking. I'll be angry. Then we'll be staying here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What are we doing? I don't know. Decided to go to Harbour Town where our car is parked. Um, and as Joe does best, let's have a look and shop. She also says she was hungry, but I don't think she's hungry anymore. She's shopping. Yeah, see? Busted. You said you're hungry. I am hungry. Yeah, but. Might as well look because we're here. We found a fancy eating area. Lunch has arrived. We've got yes. fish and chips. Yum. I feel so happy about 
out this table because he's going to be able to lay everything out nicely and take a good Instagram photo because that's what it's all about. But well, you don't tell him that you said, oh, send me a photo, send me a photo. Send me a photo. Oh. No, I hardly post your photos. So that's Ria. Oh, that looks like a D. No, you don't. No, you totally don't know fonts. No. It's a D. It's an A. It says Gelatarid. No, Gelateria. <laughs> Come on, go ask them if it's Gelateria or not. That's yeah, a it's, a D. it's the style, oh, it, it's the fake ones, it's all, <laughs> it's all puffy. What we learned in Europe, that if they're like tall and fluffy, they're not real. Making kale chips, because I realised that we've got a lot of kale left over from last week. So, all I do if you're wondering how to make kale chips, it's really simple. You just need to wash it really well and then make sure that it's completely dry or at least very dry. That's why I have it laid out like this. And then I just um, make sure that it's coated with olive oil and I chuck it in the oven at a really low temperature, just at 60 degrees. and. Um, let it just sit there for about half an hour and then it becomes really really crispy and you just season it with salt and it is the best Again, you had it yesterday didn't we? <laughs> Cheers! So we decided to take advantage of the beautiful day and have a drink outside At home it says Cheers! Cheers! I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thumbs up. Um, as usual, leave your comments down below so we can read them. And we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.